Uh, what we're looking at is a little stand of uh, Sequoia Sempervirens coastal redwood. I wanted to stop and talk about this tree today. Uh, it is the tree that Palo Alto gets its name from. Uh, the El Palo Alto, which is a coastal redwood uh, that grows over by San Francisquito Creek. Um, the city was named after the El Palo Alto because of the rareness of the uh, coast live oak growing uh, in Palo Alto itself. Uh, technically, that was the only redwood tree that was growing in Palo Alto uh, as a native tree. Uh, it grew uh, on a very interesting little peninsula next to the creek, uh, which I think supplied the amount of water necessary to make it thrive. Um, we do consider this in Palo Alto a native tree, uh, even though that's a little bit of a mis misnomer. Uh, the coast redwood is native to the hillside uh, directly west of Palo Alto. Uh, it is one of the few rare trees that takes up the majority of its uh, water through its leaf. Uh, and what that means is that it requires a high level of fog to do that. Uh, unfortunately, in Palo Alto, we do not have that amount of fog. Uh, so to keep the redwoods healthy takes quite a bit of water. Uh, and what I've noticed over time is, is that the redwoods in Palo Alto, even the oldest ones, a, uh, are about all the same height. Uh, and I'm going to guess that that is just the cycle of drought and water that we have and that the tree can only uh, push water up to a certain height uh, before it can't do that any longer. Uh, so most of them uh, will grow to be past this specific height, but usually in periods of drought, the tops will die off. Uh, as you can see, the ones behind me don't look a, uh, too great. They're not too healthy. Uh, they're not getting regular supplemental water, uh, which they definitely need to survive. And so they are slowly uh, basically dying away. Um, the plant, uh, the uh, coastal redwood is planted very profusely through Palo Alto now. If you are, get a chance to uh, get above the city, you can see uh, the amount uh, of trees that make up the urban forest is quite high. Um, I would promote in the future that we would plant less of the coastal redwood just because of the water demands that it takes uh, and plant trees that are native to this area, mostly the Quercus agrifolia or the Quercus labata. Um, they are beautiful trees. They are the namesake of Palo Alto, uh, but due to their a, a very refined microclimate and habitat, they uh, will become difficult, uh, especially going into the future to maintain the urban forest with uh, the redwood in it just because of the water need that it requires. Um, this is the Sequoia Sempervirens coastal redwood.